Hey everyone, how's it going? Danish here and Tech Timber is in full swing. If you don't believe me, look at this pimple on my face. The stress is killing me. There is way too much happening. I mean, yesterday we had Meta Connect. That was nuts. Uh, Meta Orion, how crazy was that? But uh, today we have the launch of the Xiaomi 14T series um, here in the Middle East we'll be seeing the 14T 14T Pro as well as uh, the Xiaomi Mi Mix Flip which I'm very excited to see but don't have yet now if you know me I absolutely love uh, the Xiaomi 14 Ultra it has been an excellent phone uh, funny enough I literally just picked it up day before yesterday and took this beautiful video of the moon just check this out um, I posted this across my social media so if you don't follow me there do that uh, I post a bunch of stuff over there and I love to interact with anyone but getting right to the star of the show is the Xiaomi 14T Pro and uh, this time we have a slightly smaller little box because the box I have is from the EU so this does not have a charger in but if you're based here in the Middle East don't worry there will be a charger in the box as per what I have been informed but coming right to the box um, we've got this here now we get this fatty here what is the, what's inside here we've got the sim eject tool uh, we've got a little case we've got some documentation and we have a type c to type a cable type a cables need to die but then we also have the phone let's get that here and here we have it long list of specs uh, the xiaomi 14t pro we've got leica we've got their uh, in new image sensor we've got the ai experiences we've got a uh, mediatek 9300 plus processor 144 hertz display and 120 watts uh, wired charging super excited to check all this out so let's open this right up and get this off and here we have it so Nice looking phone, but I don't know if you guys can see this. Look at how fat this thing is. This is a fat phone. I mean, if I put this up next to my Honor Magic V3, it's almost the same size. Here we have the Leica lenses. Uh, they look really nice. Uh, I'm very excited to check those out and see what that does. But overall, uh, the body is nice. I don't know the exact color name. Uh, what is the color on this? Mm. This is the Titan Blue color. That's the color that we have. This is the Titan Blue over here. Uh, it's nice. It's not bad at all. Uh, sorry about all the shine coming off my lights, but um, this is the best I can do to show it to you guys right now. I think here, here, this is a good representation. Um, but yeah, let's uh, switch this on. The power button has um, like a grip. I forget what this is called. Uh, if you do know, comment below and let me know. Screen protector in place already. All right, so let's get this thing set up quickly. Uh, I'm obviously not going to put my account or anything right now, but let's just skip, skip, skip. Uh, SIM cards, we've got that. We've got eSIM as well. That's important to note. Um, uh, Wi-Fi is connected. And we should be getting the HyperOS uh, customizations, I'm guessing. That should be next. All right, let me just speed this along for you guys, but um, skip through all the accounts, uh, moved along there, and more verifications. Skip the fingerprint. Actually, you know what? Let's just see how good the fingerprint ID is. Let's put a pin here. Uh, hate this feature Xiaomi get rid of this whole waiting for messages thing forcing us to read all right let's see how good the sensor is position is a bit odd right at the bottom but hmm that's not as much as I would have liked but okay all right it's a bit slow we'll see once I set the whole thing up we'll see how fast or slow it actually is um, but yeah that setup could have been a little faster basic settings move along uh, actually you know what if you're setting up a xiaomi phone um, you should know that the diagnostic data is not important personalized ads is not important a uh, user experience is not important all these a lot of this stuff is not important. leave xiaomi interconnectivity on that's an important one because if you have other hyper os products that helps parental parental control if you're going to give this to a kid uh, and then you've got your font settings, you've got MiSans default, so let's put it on MiSans, and you can choose your app drawers, and then we have it. HyperOS, 
And here we have it. So this is their 144 Hertz uh, display. It is a full HD plus display. Uh, let's just jump into the settings. There's already an update there. So that's really nice to see. Uh, what I have with me is the one terabyte model with 32 GB of um, uh, upgradable storage. Uh, we also are on Android 14. So we've got that as well. And uh, what else do we want to see? Do we have any other thing? Okay, no, we're good here. I will update the phone later. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much the display. Nice, easy. Uh, let's see if we can get something on. Uh, trailers 2024. What do we want to watch? All right, let's check this out. That's a nice looking screen. Can take it full. So yeah, overall looks nice. Obviously I'll be testing this further. All right, so that was just a quick sort of first unboxing and first look at the device. The 14 series always sort of perplexes me a bit in the sense that you've got this phone and they give you like the nice camera and the screen and the big battery and everything. But at the end of the day, um, it is not as good as the flagship itself. And at this point, I'm sure this is not that much more expensive considering how long it's been out and this camera is phenomenal. So I'm curious to see where this one goes, but, um, but yeah, for now that's about it. If there's anything specific that you wanna see, let me know in the comments. I will be glad to help you out. Most importantly of all, uh, if you're enjoying what you're watching, don't forget to like or comment, even subscribe if you like. And if you do, I'll see you on the next one.